Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a improvisation activity based around the theme from Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. This is a familiar theme, I'm sure you've heard it before, and we're going to take the very basic beginnings of the theme and then you can use it to make up your own melody or your own theme. So let me show you how to do the first part. What you want to do is you want to find the notes G and E flat. You can play it with fingers two and four, or you can just play it all with your first finger, whatever's easiest. So we're going to play the G three times and then land on the E flat. So it's going to go like this. And then we have the second part uses the notes F and D. So we're going to play the same pattern, one, two, three, land on the D. So that's it. That's the opening um, two phrases to Beethoven's theme from the Fifth Symphony, probably one of the most familiar themes in classical music. When you play it in rhythm, it sounds like this. So once you feel like you're pretty good at playing that pattern, you can add to it and create your own pattern. I noticed that Beethoven uses skips in his pattern. He skips from G to E flat, which skips the F in between, and then he skips from F to D, which skips the E in between. So I'm going to start with Beethoven's theme, and then I'm going to improvise a little pattern using some more skips. So here I go. So I just made up a quick little melody, always using skips, and I continued using that same rhythm pattern, that bum 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 pattern that Beethoven used. You can change that, you don't have to use that pattern. I'm going to start with it for the opening, and then I'm going to change it to something different. So again, I took the opening theme and then I improvised around it to create my own thing. Um, so go ahead and roll with that, change the rhythm or the notes and make it your own. Good luck.